Well, I'm sure I'm Walter, SBC, well, I'm Walter, Mysterio Phones, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm here to give my review on Jurassic World Dominion. And if I'm informed right, I think this is the last of its kind. So, if that is true, you should watch the film for that reason itself because the word Jurassic holds a legacy, and I think you shouldn't be missing the last of its kind. So, do watch it for that reason itself. Uh, and if you ask me what the storyline is or where does it revolve around, it's it's almost like a question, okay? Like uh, can the existing life forms and uh, the extinct life forms live in harmony together or maybe they're saying something like they should coexist so it's around this theme now if you ask me how the extinct animals came into existence you know how jurassic world works right <laughs> all the the intelligent people find some or the other reason to bring back the extinct uh, beings into life okay which nature chose to destroy and then ruckus happens and then you know how it goes so yeah that's pretty much the same reason having said that that's what happens the rest you can see it for yourself now if you ask me what are the high points in this film definitely uh, seeing all the biggies of this brand called jurassic in one frame was definitely the highest point alan ellie owen claire and uh, uh was a markham and uh, Ma um, Macy, yeah, there's one another character, an interesting character involved as well, Macy. So yeah, seeing all the biggies in one s screen, uh, uh, yeah, how can I forget Blue? Yes, Blue as well, and Blue has a baby as well. So that's that's pretty much, you know, one of the biggest high high points in this film is what I would say. The second high point, uh, what I would say is the species of dinosaurs you're gonna witness okay there are so many varieties of dinosaur that you'll witness and that might fascinate you definitely you want to see an ice monster you will see it you want to see it inside a mine you will see it so many so many it looked like ostriches to me and all okay <laughs> yeah, i mean i don't know what those were but definitely those were very fascinating to see so that is definitely another high point uh, to watch this film now where is this film kind of pulling back if you ask me okay uh, I don't know you generally feel that heebie-jeebie kind of thing right when the dinosaur is gonna come and it's go I mean when the entry of a dinosaur is gonna happen you know you kind of feel those heebie-jeebies but this time the first half entirely I wasn't feeling that because they were almost equal to human beings okay I'm telling you if you watch the film and if you watch the plot you will understand why they were existing like that but I definitely was missing that scare factor in the first half second half kind of made up to it so i was happy okay but the first half it was like okay come on it just can't be so easy right it was almost like some pet dog or cats roaming around alongside human beings so that is kind of a pullback for me secondly uh for me things were a little predictable i tell you why okay because throughout the course of the entire first half you know the dinosaurs which were gonna kill were always chasing the main people so we know for a fact that somehow he's gonna make it and he's gonna escape okay so that kind of again was a pullback for me it was not giving me the thrill that whether it's gonna kill or not that that particular thing which uh, dinosaurs are known for you know killing beasts you know hunting people down that was not exactly there so I was uh, a little back and forth there but uh, there were a lot of callbacks especially that particular dinosaur which kind of and it spits and all those things that and all was like amazing and uh, Alan and Ellie coming together everything and one almost 100% callback was the theme music that that kind of gets me so high when it comes to Jurassic as a brand itself okay that music came in one place but it did not end it's almost like that it ended I was like no you should have played it fully because this is it man you should have played it completely so that I don't know why they chose to stop but I don't think I heard it anywhere else maybe in the credits did it play I don't know but uh, as far as I saw in the film, that's the only place because I can recognize that music like hell. Okay, that is my favorite, and uh, yeah, that kind of went missing. So I was like, no, you should have played it once. I mean, you should have played it completely. But having said that, the theme was good. Uh, as I said, the variety, everything. There are a lot of fascinating factors. People who love Jurassic and its legacy will enjoy it. But if you ask me, if this is the best movie made in the entire uh, course of Jurassic uh, existence I 
I don't know. I would say a no because I, I I've seen definitely better ones. Again, not taking away anything from this, but as I said, if this was the best, if you ask me, I would say for me personally it was a no. But it's definitely worth watching in theaters and enjoying. Okay, go. It's one last time, so enjoy it is what i would say and in this video this is my review on jurassic world dominion what is yours did you feel the same way or you had different feelings do uh, tell me if i had missed any details do correct me i am super open to learning comment and let me know what you felt and when you comment do not forget to add hashtag team hustler if you're new watching this channel team hustler is the name of this channel's internet family so welcome to team hustler the family stay tuned is what i would say and in this video thank you so much for watching i'll catch you people very soon in another video until then this is show up signing off take care and peace